Today, I'm gonna make an absolutely insane creeper base in Minecraft Hardcore. Okay, story time. The other day, I was going shopping to buy some new wall art for my room. I then found this poster and said, wait, I could totally build this. So yeah, let's do it. And then we're gonna live in it, because I like living in cool things. My current place to live kinda stinks, stupid castle. So first off, I wanna make a giant platform to put the creeper base on top of. And I think I'll use diorite, because that looks cool. I probably need more than that, don't I? Or maybe not. I knew I had some more. Let's go. And I think we're gonna put this thing over by the carnival. Because after all, we did nickname this place the fun area. And this build's gonna be really fun. Let's go. Whoa. Oh, that would've been sick. I say right over here in front of the sand castle. A perfect little hill right here. I'm down. So we started off by terraforming the land as much as we possibly could. Can someone tell me why I didn't heal up my tools yet? I'm so unprepared when I record these videos. Hey there, buddy. It's my test subject. I'm gonna build a giant statue. Sure you don't be so grumpy. Oh my gosh, we are burning through these tools right now. As a matter of fact, let's go to our XP farm right now and get these all healed up. Because I'm gonna need them today. We got a lot of work to do. Hey there, buddy. I forgot about this guy. He's been stuck in this piece of bedrock for like legit months. You poor, poor guy. Have a carrot. Okay, bye. There she is, the baby. My favorite thing in the entire world. My XP farm. Now give me some XP, please. Ah, much better. Get out of the pathway. And back we go into the rocket ship. Oh, I missed that somehow. How is that even possible? And as I finish terraforming, please subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, we have a huge chunk of land for our giant creeper statue. So let's begin making this platform. Now, by the way, guys, this is gonna be a ridiculously monster-sized creeper. For scale, each pixel on the creeper is gonna equal four blocks. And there's a lot of pixels on this guy. This is gonna be a massive build. I'm so excited for this thing. So I started making these gigantic diorama pillars for the platform. And unsurprisingly, we used all our blocks, so I had to go back down to the mine and get a ton more. But despite the small pit stop, we still got the job done. You must be joking. I'm one block short. Are you serious? Go me some diorite. Thank you. And we're done. Oh my, she's gorgeous. Hey, free loot. But now it's time to start designing our creeper base. So there's three parts to a creeper. The feet, the body, and the head. And each part of the creeper is gonna continue contain things from Minecraft. Very iconic biome structures, things like that. So it's gonna be absolutely insane, but that being said, there's a lot of blocks to this thing, so we gotta get to work big time. Let's begin the grind. So first off, I'm gonna want a lot of basic Minecraft blocks, like stone and like grass. But there's also some blocks that aren't so easy to get, like a bunch of ores. I wanna get a lot of diamond ore, a lot of gold ore. So you know what that calls for? Big fun mining trip. But first, I need some fireworks, I think. Also, I gotta give this horse a name. I read your suggestions in the comments, and my favorite suggestion was Marrow. Was that a bad name idea? Uh, I don't think the Minecraft gods like that name. Sleep, 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 sleep. Much better. Off we go. So I started off by flying into my normal big cave I go to, but then I realized I think I mined all the ores in here, so I went off to find a new cave. Ooh, 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 ooh hello. Oh my goodness, big cave. Huge cave, actually. Monumental cave, hello. How'd I end up over here? I don't know, but this place looks sick. Ooh, a chest. Golden apple, sure. Ooh, hello, spider spotter. I'm finding some cool stuff today. What do we got in here? nothing I care too much about. I then continued down the cave, mining every single ore that I found. Don't tell me. Don't tell me I found a copper vein. I'm the king of finding copper veins. But the fun was cut short, as I almost died from this enderman. I almost just died. That guy over there got mad at me, and I flew into a wall out of panic, and I almost died. I'm getting out of here now. And okay, I think I have all the blocks I need, so let's begin by making the creeper's feet. This should be pretty easy. So the first step for us is to make two big rectangles angles and decorate them like their normal Minecraft chunks. But I still have to make sure the build looks like a creeper, so I use Deep Slate and Tuff to make the creeper's toes. Look at those toes, they're uncanny. Get away from my toes, these are my toes. But getting back on track for this, as I did say earlier, I wanna add like structures in the actual statue. So I think first off, I wanna make a mob spawner somewhere inside this thing. So what I'll probably do is just like break out a little area, maybe like over here. Oh, hello there, I need some torches. 
don't I? Much better. But yeah, I'm just gonna break a little hole in here, put a mob spawner room, and it'll look sick from the outside. So let's go for it. Oh, don't tell me this one too. Oh, jeez. No. So for a mob spawner, all I need really is this. Mossy cobblestone, right? And maybe something to represent a mob spawner? Hmm. Not that bad for a spawner block, honestly. Sure, I'll take it. Oh no! It's an even number of blocks in here. Time for plan B. Introducing iron bars. It's not as pretty, but you know what? It's good enough. And smack some chests down and sure. Oh yeah, that thing looks really good actually. That's a great mob spawner. Sweet. Now what other structures can I put in here? Maybe like a lava pool? Sure, why not? Let me just get some lava. I have no lava. I'm so unprepared today. BRB. Aha! Lava! Gimme, 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 gimme. Thank you. Oh, keep that in the back of your mind, guys. We should make a geode in the creeper, too. That'd be sick. One thing at a time, though. I guess the lava can go inside of these blocks here. Perfection. A little bit of this, and raise it up a little bit more. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of hard to make this thing look natural. I hope it looks good. And we sprinkle some ores here and there. And I would say... It looks okay. Something's missing though. Wait, I got it. Lava pool coming from the sky. Okay, yeah, that's a lot more lively. That looks great. Lava pool, check. Now for the next structure, I have a really ambitious idea here. I kind of want to try making a stronghold. Not like the whole stronghold, obviously, but like a little mini stronghold room, you know? So let's go get some inspiration. Follow me this way. And boom, we're in the stronghold. I'll be taking some of these blocks with me. I honestly have no idea how this is gonna look. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous for this one, but let's go for it, why not? Have some confidence, Farzi. And confidence I had. I placed down all this stone brick, put down some doors, put down some stronghold-like things, and after all this, it looked pretty good. Well, that went better than I thought it was gonna go. I kinda like this place. It's like a small hallway, we got the doors, some torches, some iron bars. It really does look like a real stronghold. Now, I might still add more things to the feet later on, but at least for right now, let's move on onto the body. Now the good thing is, the body's gonna look pretty similar to the feet, just a little bit taller. So that meant I had to go get a few more materials. There are literally eight creepers right here. Nine creepers. What the heck? Back it up! Jeez! And after grabbing those few extra blocks, it was now time to build this epic creeper body, crafted out of stones, dirt, and ores. You guys might notice that there are holes in the body, but I did that on purpose, because I want to put some cool structures up there as well. And the first structure we're gonna to make is an amethyst geode. So let's hop down in this cave, go find a geode, and get some blocks. I think there's one down here. Aha, I got it. Hey there, how you doing, geode? I'm gonna need some amethyst, some calcite, some basalt, and most importantly, these things. These are these called shards? Clusters, amethyst clusters. I need some clusters today. I love the sound of this place so much. I was so zen right there. Why'd you ruin it? But all jokes aside, I flew back up to my statue and made the perfect amethyst geode. Oh my gosh, yes. That looks so amazing. It's not like super big, but the purple and the white really just pops out from far away. Like, look at that. That's amazing. Oh, that is perfect. Well, with that out of the way, let's get to our next structure. And I got a great idea for this. So we're gonna use this small groove down here to make a little bit of a waterfall, like water cave kind of thing and have it spill into a lake here on top of the foot. So I guess the lake can go like right here and bring it out a little bit. Oh, what are you doing down there? How'd you spawn there? Don't explode, please. And now I just need some water. Give me some of that. How am I gonna do this? Maybe just like this? And that flows pretty nicely. All right, sweet. I like that. But that being said, up here on the foot is a little bit boring now, so I might want to put like some trees and some nature and stuff like that. Please be a small tree. Please be small. Eh, that's okay. Sure, I'll take that. And now we add some grass, some sugar cane, some flowers, and most in Importantly, a bee's nest. Absolutely perfect vibes here. Oh, I love this foot right here. It's so cool. That sounds weird. What are you doing, 360 B? All right, I'll join you. Now, obviously, I had to go decorate the second foot too, but after that, it was time to move on. We are now on to our next idea for the body, and I have an amazing structure we're gonna put right up there. We are gonna make an abandoned mine shaft, and it's gonna look amazing. But to do that, I gotta get some very specific blocks, one of them being cobble. 
webs. Because as you guys might know, cave spiders are abundant in those mine shafts and they have a lot of cobwebs around them. So I gotta find some. I really wish I kept those coordinates from earlier. I didn't save those. Oh man. So I had to retrace my steps. I think it was somewhere around here. Could that be it? Please, 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 please. No, that's not it. Or is it? Oh, that's it. Oh, we found it. Oh, hello there, copper vein. Another one, man. Oh, and a lush cave. I'm getting lucky today. <gasps> found it. And would you look at that cobwebs galore. I'm gonna need some shears, which I don't have with me. Oh my gosh, man. How'd that happen? So my dumb self had to fly back home, grab some shears, and go all the way back. Okay, can we not do this right now? Gravel attack. Not gonna lie, that was pretty epic. <laughs> Aha! Cobwebs. Whoa! Spiders! Let's be quick here, okay? All right, I think we're good. Bye! Bye, bye, bye. See you later, alligator. But okay, let's go build ourselves a mine shaft. But first, a chest. <gasps> Enchanted golden apple. Let's go. That's my first one of the series. Back it up. My golden apple. Not yours. And we're out of here. So I got back to the creeper and began building this epic mine shaft, which came out really, really good. Okay, this mine shaft is by far my favorite structure yet because look at how interactive it is. We can go up here where the, you know, the spider spawner is. There's a pathway out this way a pathway through here it literally is like a little maze and i love it it's so cute we got the oars it's perfect and of course from the outside it looks absolutely wonderful why is there a bee up there bee what are you doing up there get away from the mine shaft so now the feet are done the body is done and all that's left is the iconic creeper head but before we get started on that i gotta take care of something really important last episode i said if the video got 4,000 likes i would make my girlfriend play minecraft and you guys absolutely smashed it. Literally within 24 hours, we had 4,000 likes. So that being said, roll the footage. Okay. Here she is. She's ready to play Minecraft. Now, the best part about this is she has no idea what she's doing, so I want you to tell people, what do you know about Minecraft? I know there's creepers. I don't really know what they are, but... She knows creepers. That's really it. <laughs> that's it. Okay, creepers, that's all. All right, Mariah, put your hand on the mouse, put your hand on the keyboard. I will sit back here, play. I can't tell her anything. There you go, you're breaking a block. You can go pick those up and you can place them down. Wait, I also know what the pickaxe thing is. What is it? I don't know, I just knew what it you was. So you knew what it was. <laughs> You just broke a plant. Oh. <laughs> I figured out how to jump, and I feel like that's an accomplishment for That today. is. That's an achievement. <laughs> We're doing good. What is that? Ooh, you might have found something. Am I supposed to be using this? No. Nice. All right. You've mined your first ore. That's copper. Look at you. You're mining. You're a pro. How did I throw that? <laughs> Walk back over it. There you go. It's back. If you press Q, you throw your thing in your hand. Those buttons are very close to each other. I know. Minecraft do better. There's too many buttons to press. There's legit like four. This is prime entertainment. <laughs> are these things I'm not supposed to break because you built them? You can do whatever you want. If you put your copper in there, you can smelt it and get like the ingot. It goes here, right? And it's cooking, let's go. She's smelting things. Um, am I supposed to, what is that thing? That would be a monster. That's Why does a... he have carrots? <laughs> what do you think that is over there in front of you? It's a claw. <gasps> I'm not a bad builder, guys. If you had to rate my building skills out of 10, what would you say? I'll give it a solid nine because I have no idea what other things look I'll like. I'll take that, I'll take a nine, <laughs> I'll take a nine. Over there, I got carnival games, play a game. Get the target. How do, well, huh? All right, well, Mariah, I think we're gonna end it here because you did a good job, you gave me good compliments, and most importantly, you didn't die. Amazing. Now get out of here, it's my time to play. But that being said, if this video gets 4,000 likes, I will lock myself in a cave spider spawner for 60 seconds. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, that was fun. And just for the memories, I'm gonna save her copper ingot and name it. Mariah's first ingot. I love it. And I'll put that down in my bedroom so I'll never forget it. In the ender chest, sure. Why are there potions in there? I kind of forgot about these. All right, well, I can go right there for now. Oh, also, my golden apple. Yeah, all right, sweet. Looks good to me, but ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to finish up our creeper and make the creeper's head. So, of course, that meant yet another pit stop into the mine to get all different kinds of stone. Now, the issue I'm having now is I need to use some other kind of block for the creeper's face, like for the eyes and mouth. So, I think I want to use terracotta, but I'm probably going to need some more. Off we go. Aha, this brown terracotta will be perfect. I'm also gonna be using black terracotta too, so I need some ink sacks. Stupid squid. I don't even like squid, it tastes disgusting. All right, at this point, you guys know the drill. Let's get to building. And 
there we go. The creeper looks fully complete. The face looks amazing, which means it's now time for the last couple structures on the creeper. Now, the one I want to do right now was actually on the poster I referenced earlier, and that is putting a village on top of the creeper's head. Mr. Chicken agrees. And lucky for me, there's a village right here nearby, so I might just scrap these houses here and literally move them right up there. As a matter of fact, sure, why not? So I started off by tearing down that terracotta house and building it on top of the creeper's head. I then wanted to add some of the more iconic nature things in a village, like a farm and like a tree. And to top it all off, I wanted a big grand building like the classic villager church, so I threw that in as well. And how do we feel about our little mini village here? I think it's cute, I think it does the job, I gotta add a few more things here like some path blocks, smack down some bone meal every here and there, and hopefully if I'm lucky I can get some chickens in here with these six eggs. Come on, give me chicken, give me chicken, give me chicken. Okay, never mind. Who needs chickens? They're stupid. But next up, if you guys were paying attention, you might have noticed over here there's a hole in the side of the creeper's head. And in here, I'm gonna get shot off, knock it off. But in here, we're gonna make a mine for a player, like a very small cave with some simple things like some ores, some chests, and just like, you know, a very basic starter mine. Because after all, we've all experienced that before. You make a new world, you go mining in your first cave, get your first pickaxe. It's a pretty big deal. So yeah, I wanna build one. And I'm ready to start as soon as these creepers get away. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. That was a close one. Okay, let's get to work in here. Okay, this one is so perfect to me because it's so like nostalgic of day one Minecraft. Like your first cave, you bring down a chest because you're a noob and you have a ladder system to get down there, which leads back up to your house. It's so like cute to me. I don't know, I just really like this. Now this whole build has been absolutely amazing. I think it already looks 10 out of 10, but there's one final thing we have to add. One key thing that is so integral to Minecraft. And here's a hint, it has to do with creepers. You guessed it, TNT. So very simply, I'm gonna mine over here, get to the other side of the head, and I'll smash open a bunch of blocks like this, and I'm gonna fill the entire void with TNT blocks. Because after all, creepers are made of TNT, so it's only fitting that we put TNT all over the thing. Plus, I'm pretty sure TNT is one of like the oldest blocks in the game, so yeah, this is like super fitting. And boom. No pun intended. Now I just gotta hope no skeletons shoot this thing with a flame bow. That would really stink, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness, I love it. That looks so sick. It's like a a TNT scar or something. It's so cool. But okay, guys, I think the creeper is all done and we officially have a new home. Oh my gosh, this thing came out so amazing. I'm so proud of our work. Well, with that out of the way, I think I deserve a break, but not just any break. Disco break! Oh man, that felt good. But carrying on to other matters, I do want to fix something around this area, and that is the pathway to get back up to the rest of my town. I'm not gonna lie, right now it's really dumb. I have to like walk across this way and do some like parkour and jump up here. I kind of want to like flatten this all out a little bit. I think it'll be pretty easy. So I grabbed some blocks and began making a beautiful little hill decorated in moss, path blocks, and even a custom stone wall. Absolutely beautiful. So much smoother to go up and down the wall Walls are all fixed up now. It just looks a lot better. But okay, guys, I'm gonna end it here. So make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.